Hello, Pally. Today's Friday, April 26, 2019. And in focus starts right now. Some interesting events are coming to the Quad in the coming weeks. Updates on the city transit issues. And Trey Bishoping is in the studio today with the latest in Pally Sports. All that and more is coming up on today's show. Welcome to In Focus. I'm Nurna Vade. And I'm Ori Nirpaz. There's a lot going on around campus. Here's some important announcements from today's campus bulletin. Senior calculus students are hosting a cool calculus convention on the quad next Monday, April 29th. There will be interactive math exhibitions and games where candy and prizes will be provided. This will occur, occur from second period through sixth period. Students looking for summer volunteer opportunities can check out the bulletin board in front of the College and Career Center. For more questions, email klarson at pausd.org. Next Friday is Pali World Fest. The ASB hosted event will be filled with events that appreciate Pali and cultures from around the world. The event takes place May 3rd during lunch and tutorial on the quad and free food and festivities will be available. The Pali Choir Spring Concert is this Sunday. It will be at 4 p.m. For more information, please visit palichoirs.com. In other performing arts news, Pali Theatre's One Act Showcase is next week. Performances are May 2nd through and through the 4th. Tickets and information can be found at pallytheater.com. Moving on now from what's going on around campus to what's happening in the world and locally today. Let's take a look at what's topping today's headlines in today's News Minute. The Trump administration has six months to identify thousands of separated immigrant children from their parents. It's the latest in an ongoing family separation class action lawsuit. The American Civil Liberties Union originally filed the case last year. The two sides had previously submitted competing proposals as how the identification process would unfold, specifically the timing. The government argued it would take up to two years to identify potentially thousands of children who, got, who officials separated from their parents. The ACLU argued it could be done faster. In a hearing in California Thursday, the U.S. District Judge handling the case ordered the government to complete the identification process by October 25th. A stolen puppy has been returned to the Pennsylvania pet store. It was taken from during it was taken from during an armed robbery. The robbery happened on Wednesday. The store's owner says Remus, a nine week old Rottweiler, was found by a Good Samaritan Thursday and returned to the shop. Tropic Pet Center's owner thinks the man who took it who took the puppy decided to let him go. Police are still looking for the suspect. After four years of false starts and sharp disagreements, Palo Alto City Council kicked off on Monday a new effort to place a business tax on the November 2020 ballot. By a 6-1 to one vote, with Councilman Greg Tanaka dissenting, the City Council approved a path forward for a revenue measure that would support various transportation improvements, including the re redesign of four rail crossings. This includes the Churchill Avenue at grade crossing. We at In Focus are not yet sure how this will affect Pali students' daily commute. Another issue that is concerning to some Pali students is immunization exemptions and how that will affect their, their health. I hear Max Bonster, our very own resident historian, has been learning more about the origins on one of the school's mandated vaccines. Mm -hmm. What do you have for us today, Max? Well, Noah, on this day, 1954, the SOG polio vaccine field trials involving 1.8 million children began at the Franklin Sherman Elementary School in McLean, Virginia. Children in the United States, Canada, and Finland participated in the trials, which used for the first time the now double standard, uh, now d standard double blind method, whereby neither the patient nor attending doctor knew if the inoculation was uh, the vaccine or a placebo. On April 12, 1955, res researchers announced the vaccine was safe and effective, and it quickly became a standard part of childhood immunizations in America. In the ensuing decades, polio vaccines would all but wipe out the highly contagious disease in the Western Hemisphere. Well, that's all for me. Back over to you. Thanks, Max. Stay tuned, Pally. We'll be right back after this short break.
Okay. Welcome back. Moving on now to the realm of Pali athletics. Trey Bishoping is in the studio now with the latest in Pali sports news. Do we snatch some doves like Anthony predicted yesterday, Trey? Unfortunately not, Ori. Boys JV Lacrosse took on Menlo Atherton and lost in a nail biter by a score of 11 to 10. Today, Boys Varsity Baseball plays at 4 at Saratoga. Girls Varsity Softball will play at 4 at Fremont. Girls JV Softball also plays at 4 versus Fremont, but here at Pali. JV Baseball plays at 4 versus Saratoga here at Pali. Girls JV Lacrosse plays at Gun at 515. Girls Varsity Lacrosse also plays at Gun after the JV game at 7. Saturday, Boys Varsity Baseball plays at 12 at Claremont. JV Baseball will also play at Claremont Saturday, but at 3. That's all for me. Back to you. Thanks for that, Trey. Wow, we have had so many sports out on the field recently, and I hope it hasn't been too hot on the stands for all the crowds that are watching. I hope so too, Noor. Let's check in with our meteorologist, Thayer Kacher, to see how it is out there. What can we expect out there today, Thayer? Well, we can see it getting pretty warm. Looking at, looking at our map, we can see a high of 80 in San Jose, with the temperatures getting uh, cooler as we move up north, with a high of 66 in San Francisco and a low of 51. Looking into this weekend, we can see it mostly being short sleeve weather, with a high of, of 73 and a low of 50 on Sunday, with it a little warmer on Saturday. Now looking further into the week, we can see a high of 73 on Monday and a low of 51. On Tuesday, we can see a high of 71 and a low of 50. That's all for me. Back to you. Well, that does it for today's episode. Be sure to visit our website to check out old episodes, check the bulletin, or just send us an email. Until next time, have a great day, Pally.